to really understand why Regenix is very different, let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. Let's take a look at what interventional orthopedics looks like for a hand problem. Agenda's methodology includes several different injectates that we use for specific uh, problems. For instance, in the patient today, we'll be doing four different types of procedures. Uh, one will be median nerve hydrodissections, where we'll be doing a mixture of our platelet lysate uh, that is on its third uh, and fourth generations now. We'll be injecting um, the ligaments surrounding some of the hand joints. This is going to be a mixture of concentrated platelet lysate as well as our super concentrated platelets. Um, this would be an intraarticular injection to the smaller uh, thumb and uh, finger joints, uh, which is a higher concentration of our super concentrated uh, platelet uh, lysate mixture. Uh, we'll also be doing a, a finger hydrodissection um, uh, of the flexor tendons. So here we have a different uh, concentration of platelet lysate. Uh, so as you can see, we have four different uh, mixtures to treat four different problems. Uh, what our patient has here is a, what's called a trigger finger. Uh, that's when it's, uh, one of these tendons that goes to the uh, edge of the fingers uh, gets contracted in a tight band, it gets inflamed, and it gets stuck. Patients who don't want to undergo a surgery, uh, what we do here is called a hydrodissection where we use a small needle and fluid to loosen up the connective tissue around the tendon uh, to try to break up those adhesions um, uh, with the fluid to loosen that tendon up as well as deliver growth factors to the area to allow healing of the tendon and naturally reduce inflammation. Uh, that separation is trying to loosen up some of the, uh, the um, sheath and connective tissue, tissue surrounding that tendon. There it is. Difficult to redirect because of the angle of the thumb, but finally we got it. Pope. There's a needle spreading across the tendon now. So now we're injecting solution of highly concentrated platelet and growth factors into the CMC joint. For that CMC joint arthritis, you can see on the screen the needle tip just above the joint. It's going to redirect that, and boom, we see it fall directly into that joint. Gonna inject a little bit of fluid. The patient has a CMC joint arthritis, which is common now in the age of a lot of texting and typing and desk work. Um, and so without ultrasound guidance, trying to get in this joint would be very difficult. Able to get a small 30 gauge needle in the joint with minimum patient discomfort. Part of the Regenix methodology, uh, is to treat instability within the joint because the instability leads to more wear and tear because you have excess, excessive movement at a joint. So in addition to just treat it intraarticularly, we're also going to treat the surrounding uh, ligament and structures to help support the joint. This component of treating joints is missed by 99% of orthopedic and musculoskeletal specialists out there.